93% of Americans agree that the arts are vital to providing a well-rounded education, according to a 2005 Harris poll. The arts have a place in all levels of schooling, but the question at hand is how much of a place? As you can see by these graphs from the National Center of Art Education Study on the Arts in Primary and Secondary Schools published in 2014, the percentage of schools offering arts courses is dropping over the years. Also seen in this graph are the percentage of schools with theater programs. In the 2009-2010 school year, in primary schools, you can see that there are only 4% of schools offer a theater program, while 94% offer a music program. And then in secondary schools, in 2008-2009, 45% offered a theater program, and 91% offer music programs. Now, you all know I am a theater education major, and I have taken many theater classes, and I have seen what theater can do for students. But on top of my experience, I have also done research that would surprise you as well as it did me. We all have memories of arts project in grade school, from coloring in the lines to playing with maracas, and the arts affect every child as they develop their imagination and critical thinking skills. They're a staple for education, this fact has been proven through many scientific um, publications. But theater connects to every subject, and it also teaches things that other arts cannot teach. It teaches the whole child by giving students skills such as empathy, individualism, and confidence, things that can't be found in regular school classes or in other arts classes. And this is why theater should be part of every school, and every school should have a theater program. Putting life skills aside for now, uh, let's look at the science behind the arts in schools. Research supports the arts making a positive impact on the education of students. It shows that the environment and the social skills in a school improve as students take arts classes. Students are happier. Students want to be there, and they want to be in classes. It also has a positive effect on their academics. According to a 2005 poll taken by the College Board, students who are more involved in the arts have a tendency to get higher SAT scores. And taking a look at this chart, you can see that students with four years of arts classes have higher scores than students who only have one year of arts classes. And you can see this replicated through Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligencies. Now the intelligencies included in Gardner's list published in his 2001 book include spatial, bodily kinesthetic, musical, interpersonal, and intrapersonal intelligencies, and more have been added to the list since then. These intelligencies are ways that people learn differently, and they connect to theater through the idea of pluralization. Pluralization is the way to teach important materials in several different ways, such as not only doing a lecture, but also giving a worksheet and activities. Pluralization connects to theater by allowing students by allowing students to get different subjects through theater. Theater encompasses elements of all subjects. Acting helps students connect to literature by exposing students to different styles of writing, such as Shakespeare or Harper Lee. Acting also helps students connect to history as they learn backstories and they do play analyses to understand the background information of a script. Technical theater reinforces a lot of science and mathematics. Lighting technicians with lighting technicians work with the science of light waves and light functions as they look at mood and they create atmosphere for production. Costuming and scenic technicians work with physically putting ideas from paper and translating them to real life 
with a lot of mathematical skills, such as fractions. Theater cannot, does not only help students reinforcing, with reinforcing academics, but also through developing necessary life skills. Life skills through stage skills is a common motto in a lot of community theaters because many students who go through theater classes learn different personal and interpersonal skills. Students develop a greater self-confidence as they learn to be more spontaneous and they learn to get up in front of people and just act. They also get a greater sense of humility for theater has a built-in hierarchy system to keep all of the moving components working correctly together. Students also go through interpersonal growth as they work together. They learn how to give and take criticism, such as having an actor or a technician and director relationship. They also learn empathy through acting with different people and learning how to step into someone else's shoes. The combination of reaching out to students who learn differently, reinforcing all core academic and teaching necessary life skills exemplifies why theater should be a subject taught in every school for every student. Theater is very accessible. All one needs is imagination and a space to call a stage. You can support theater in your school by voicing your concerns with your school's principal and your county's art director. With theater in schools, we can support our kids' internal, personal, and creative growth. For as Einstein said, the highest level of creativity unfolds through play. Thank you.